Hello, I am from Gethsemane BP Church, San Antonio. I thank God for this youth fellowship camp because the messages had reminded me to shun away from the worldliness and any other works which are of the devil. I myself know that I am in need of revival for I am very much guilty in, with my connectedness in the world. I now realize through the sharing of God's word that I made myself vulnerable, even allowed my ungodly friends to, uh, to influence me rather than the other way around. I succumbed to the things that I once enjoyed when I was still in the darkness. I was not mindful of the danger the world has laid for me. This camp has affected and moved me. It is heartwarming to receive the warmth of the fellowship the children of God can extend without even the utterance of words. It is very visible that the lives being well spent in God's will would always bring about genuine happiness and the things the world could offer could not even compare. The messages have refreshed me of the ways a Christian youth and ways to handle and avoid varied worldly circumstances that would lure me out and throw me in the deep pit that would make it difficult for me to come out. Uh, the God's, God's word will be used as my armor to protect myself from this worldliness. I am also very blessed and encouraged to see church leaders and youths, especially from Singapore, to fully submit themselves to God, serve Him with much joy and gladness in their hearts, forgetting not the Word of God as their manuals in life. I pray to God to give me the strength to do the same, to praise and serve Him with all my might for His glory. Indeed, this has become a fruitful camp, and I thank God for the opportunity He has given me. Thank you. Hi, I'm Riva May Kometa from Gethsemane Bible Presbyterian Church, San Antonio. It has been a blessed camp <laughs> for me. It really nurtured me and taught me godly things like even neutral things that looks that isn't really neutral, that looks that doesn't really look harmful at first look, is harmful if it causes us, us to depart from God. And we really, we really should be careful as youths in our Christian life. By the grace of God, I pray that I can continue to walk in Him and become a witness to the world. Hi, I'm Glenda. I'm from uh, Gethsemane VP Church, San Antonio. I thank God for enabling us and giving us permission to attend this youth camp, not just to have fellowship with other youths in Singapore, Cebu, Pangasinan, and Bohol, but most importantly, uh, to hear His word. <laughs> We are refreshed by God's word on how to overcome worldly affairs, that this can destroy us and damage our body. And also, the verse says in 1 John 12, 15, the last part, If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Hi, I'm Mary Rose Ocharon from Binabag, um, San Antonio. Um, I thank God for enabling us to listen the to listen His words <clears throat> and how to overcome the worldly affairs and especially the overcoming social media addiction and that we are now aware on how to deal with it. I thank God also that I met the other youths from the other country and like Singapore, Bohol, Pangasinan and Cebu to have fellowship with them. So <clears throat> good afternoon. I'm Kate Alvarez uh, from GP GBPC uh, Bugo Church. God has been gracious within us along the way and he is faithful to them who believe and do the will of the Father. I think God for this camp has been a great blessing and makes us youth to be able to be united and walk closer unto the Lord. I thank God also for the inspiring and convicting messages that makes and enlighten my mind to the things which are not good and abomination in the sight of the Lord. For God says in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 1-2, We then, as work workers together with Him, 
beseech you also that ye receive not the grace of God in vain. For he said, I have heard thee in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I so called thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. That in this, that in this we may be able to repent from our sins, because God doeth well to them that follow him. Also thank God for all the preachers who used by God to preach his word. I thank God also for the messages that made me eager and standing for the truth and able to share the gospel to my loved ones and friends that have been walking in darkness. In 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 8, For we can do nothing against the truth but for the truth. God talked to us along the way and always revealed His grace. Therefore, we take joy in our infirmities, persecutions, and distresses, for God will give grace, our desires, and strength if we will look and call upon Him.